So last week, I watched Canva Create, and it was no joke. Canva released feature after feature, hit after hit, and these are all things that we have been wanting for a very long time, and a lot of these tools and a lot of these new features that they have are going to take a bit of time to go through. And while I'm already messing around with some of the new features in the platform, there is one that I am most excited about that I want to walk you through today, and that's the Visual Suite 2.0. We can now have multiple different sizes all inside of one design. And if you know anything about marketing or content creation or digital creation of any kind, this is going to be a game changer for our workflows. Today, I want to show you how you can combine this new Visual Suite 2.0 along with a new feature called Canva Sheets. And I want to show you the power of these two things going hand in hand so that you can build out a content calendar each month, you can manage your workflow, and you can go and create the content all inside of just one design. Instead of having to manage multiple different designs, multiple different projects in Canva using different software, we can now house our entire content creation workflow in one design in Canva. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is come into Canva and we are going to create a new design. Now, instead of grabbing like your traditional Instagram post or TikTok post, we are actually going to start with a sheet. Now, you are more than welcome to use any of these different templates to help get you started. Personally, I like just using the bare bones and kind of building my own, but essentially you can get some inspiration over here. We want to build a content calendar first. So you can, again, just kind of see how some of these features work. Um, but essentially we want to have an area where you can track your entire workflow. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I traditionally would add. So let's just say we are planning for May 2025 content calendar. And from there, I don't like to overcomplicate content calendars. I literally just keep them as bare bones as possible. So we need something like a date. We need a status. We need a platform. Uh, we need the visual, the copy or caption, any notes for brainstorming, and then the published piece of content. So essentially, you can go through, customize this, create this however you want. And this is one that I have already created for myself. So basically, I just added in some of my branding elements. I've merged together all of these different fields, just like you would in any kind of Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet. Now you're going to see a couple of different things here, though, is we have all these fun little tabs. So as you can see, I had this date status platform. I did add in content pillar, visual, copy, notes, and the post link. So these right here are drop downs, and this is what's really fun and really cool about these new Canvas sheets. So basically we have the date area and all you have to do is come up into here. If it is a number based field that you want, you can just switch this and it automatically created this drop down for me. So let's just say you wanted to put it over here. You could do date, see how it adds it. And if you want to fill all of them, look something like this. So that's a quick and easy way to add date. Now to get these different drop downs, these different statuses. So you see content pillar, um, you know, we have the different platforms and we have different uh, statuses for each piece of content. It can be as simple as clicking into the box, then you hit the forward slash key and there's a ton of different actions. If you don't wanna hit the forward slash key, you can also come up here and click on actions and you can scroll through. But basically what we wanna do is insert a drop down. There are obviously some preset drop downs that you can choose from here that you can edit if you want. I just created my own. You can see them all right here and you click create a drop down. Now what we can do is come in here and you can edit each of these options to say whatever you want them to say. You can also add in different colors. Like if you want to add in your branding, which I think is really fun or for, especially for statuses, I really like having the different colors so that I can differentiate. Okay, I need to record this one. This one's ready to post this one's scheduled to post, but that's just a quick and easy way to be able to do that. So then you'll see over here, post link. Once it's been posted, you can just copy and paste the link in here. Okay, so if you're wanting to start using this type of content planning tool, what you can do is come over here and let's say we know we want to publish something on May 3rd, you can come over here and start to plan out when and where you want to create content. From there, you can obviously change the status. We know May 1st, this is the recording queue. We know we want it to go on Instagram and it fits in. Obviously, you'd want to put your actual content pillars. It's content pillar three. So now you're thinking, okay, maybe notes. This is where you add in inspiration. Maybe you have notes for a script. Whatever it is that you want, you could put in the notes section. Now for this visual and copy, this is where things get a little bit different inside of Canva. So for this visual, we know May 1st, we're gonna be creating an Instagram reel. Now, thanks to the new visual suite, we can also create this content. So you're gonna do add new page type, 
coming into the social media tab and you can find what it is, whatever dimension, whatever post you want to create. So we're going to click Instagram Reel and we can, again, start to design this and use all of the normal Canva features. So text on screen uh, goes here, something like that. You get the gist. We would design this like we would design any other type of Instagram Reel. So once you have a design that you like, we actually want to start making a best practice of naming these. So we know this one's going to go out May 1st. It's going to be an IG Reel. Perfect. Pretty simple. So then you come over into your content calendar and for the visual, you're going to hit forward slash. You're going to type in link, click on it here, and now you can access the different pages in the document. So this is why it's important to name them. So now we have May 1st Instagram Reel and you click done. Then we would write out our caption here. And now this is no longer in the recording queue. This is now ready to post. And after it's posted, obviously you come over here and copy and paste the link. But what's really cool about this and why it is so important to be managing our workflow in Canva is I can click on this and it will take me right to that page. And you can continue this process. Let's say we know uh, we want to create an Instagram post. This will be for uh, May 2nd IG post. And you keep that process going. This also works really well if you want to, uh, let's do like a doc and this will be a blog post, some kind of blog post. You can do the same thing for your email. Let's say you wanted to write out an email here. And this is just a great way, email newsletter. This is a great way to just be able to keep track of things. Another one for me is like, let's say I want to have my YouTube thumbnails all in one place. YouTube, uh, you could add in your YouTube thumbnails. And again, we're managing these different sizes all inside of Canva and it is just really, really cool. So this is just one quick way that you're able to manage your content workflow, manage your content calendar, create all of designs. And this is all of the content that you would be creating for the month of May. And then the last part of this process, you can see this is how I actually used to organize my content before we got this new feature is I would have like a little tab over here where I would star certain things. And I'd have all of these different designs, but now I, luckily I don't need that. So what I can do over here is just star this. And now I have access to all of my May content right in this tab over here. So as I'm designing in Canva, I know all of my content for May is going to live right there. And I have such quick and easy access to it. So again, this is just the beginning of me exploring all of these new features inside of Canva. So if you have any questions about this particular feature or features that you're looking to explore and to test out and try all the new things inside of Canva. Drop your questions, your comments, or any of your suggestions of what you would like me to create next in the comment section below. I'll take the most popular requests and create some videos for you specifically. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.